As a retro gaming fan, anytime I see a game that has a similar look to the original Doom, Wolfenstein, Shadow Warrior or Duke Nukem in VR, I get pretty damn excited. Back in 2020, I streamed a game called Compound. It wowed me with its graphics and attention to detail, but being in early access, it was missing some reasons to keep playing. I actually completed the game all in one stream, but I was left with some very fond memories. Upon opening my emails today, I've now seen it is coming to the Quest on the 8th of December for $20 and the developers have invited me to review the latest version of Compound. As always, if you find this review helpful, please consider subscribing as I have lots more VR to show you. I was really surprised how much work has been done since my last visit. The developers, of which actually thinking about it there might be only one, has taken what was a great looking retro FPS and transformed it into a gorgeous, deep, roguelike, full of genuine reasons to keep coming back for more. The graphics look incredible and extremely vibrant on the quest. There are tons of items that can be interacted with and killing the enemy always feels satisfying. Each weapon rewards you with another variant and a trophy. Say you get 200 kills with a pistol, you'll unlock the blast variant of that pistol, which is more like a small shotgun over the original single fire version of the pistol. You get so many kills with the single shot grenade launcher, you will then unlock the triple shot grenade launcher. You can see where this is going. Now the premise of the game is to basically start on the bottom floor and work your way to the top where you will have an epic rooftop battle. But getting there is no easy task. Now you can play on easy mode, medium or hard. And while I did die more than I'd care to admit, I never really got too frustrated because during each run, I would unlock something new that I looked forward to using on the next run. I have literally played this game for hours today. But when the game really comes to life is when you start using the mutation dispenser. Now the mutation dispenser opens a lot more doors. For example, there is a mutation called Old Schooler. Old Schooler gives you the ability to carry 16 weapons, automatically pick up ammo and food, but there will be a lot more enemies and their rate of fire is a lot faster. There's also another variant where you have no weapons in the game apart from a compound bow. And just for one more example, there is another one where it's one shot kill but that goes for you as well as the enemy and as I'm sure you can tell if you add a procedurally generated game which is a roguelite with these mutations and tons of different weapons we are talking about a lot of gameplay another thing this game has is quite a lot of enemy variants you can come across I think it's three or four sets of guards but later on they'll be upgraded with armor there's robots there's turrets there's dogs there's spiders with shields there's walking hoovers that if you get too close to them and shoot them, they blow up. There's a lot of things you can interact with. This stuff isn't just for show. You can shoot the lights, the plants, glass jars. Literally, most things you can see, you can shoot. And I love that in VR. I also think this game really encourages speedrunning because as long as you've been somewhere on the map, you can teleport there at any time. As soon as every enemy is cleared on a floor, you can just go straight back to the lift and head to the next level. There is one downside to this, Playing a roguelike means you are in the headset for a very, very long time. And there is no seated feature that I could see in the options. It didn't matter if I reset my height. Uh, I simply always needed to stand up to feel correct in the game. So I really hope they add that in the future. But everything else you'd expect is here. Teleportation, snap turning, smooth turning. Everything else is here. And yeah, I really uh, look forward to hearing all your thoughts when the game launches on December 8th. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the review, drop a like below.